temperature 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Mileage 2773. I'm not even wearing my my fancy goggles today. It's not really that cold. It's only 32, and it's probably barely 32. At least it doesn't feel cold. No face protection today. I don't know if you can see that. My big old fast face. Anyway, I think today's the 12th of February. 2015. This is your old pal Mike Cayley 7. I saw a, uh, a video this morning I really liked. It's a guy named, uh, I believe it's, his name is Slightly Righteous, made a comment on my video. So I looked up his page, as I often do. He rides a, uh, a victory something. It's like a, a touring version of the Victory. I can't remember what it's called. Tour something. Victory Tour. I don't know. Anyway. He did a nice walk around of the bike. And what struck me about it was how similar it is to the bike that I have. You can definitely tell that they're made for the same market niche Basically everything that that I have he has he actually has two more things. I don't have he has heated grips and a heated seat My level doesn't have that Mine is uh, Not the limited the limited is the fancy fancy one But even that one doesn't have a heated seat. That's just got heated grips So That's pretty darn good for the money That's a nice video, so I, I think the Victory's nice. The only thing I, I'm not keen on with the Victory is just the, the way it looks. It's too pointy. It's too Buck Rogers looking. I will say this, the, the ultra classic electric light thing from Harley, previous years of that bike, 13, 12, 11, they, they kind of looked like they were stuck in the late 70s, early 80s. And I wasn't that keen on them. And then that day I walked into the showroom and saw the 14. And it just, they, they smoothed it out. Gave it rounder edges and a little bit more modern feel. And here I am. I used to like that old 50s look. You know, the Road King classic kind of with all the chrome and stuff. No, nah. I want protection from the wind. I want storage. I want music. That's what this does. I have no buffeting on my helmet because of this little windy thing here. Perfect riding position. My hands feel fine. No shaking. You know, the handlebars don't wiggle. Pretty much everything I want in a bike is, is this, except I wouldn't mind having a heated seat. The heated grips, maybe. So, uh, thank you for the, the tour of your Victory. It's a very nice bike. It's got all the, all the creature comforts that you're looking for in a touring bike. Bravo. If it were less pointy, I might even actually think of one, but a bit too pointy for me. Let's see, what else? Oh, I had this dream last night that uh, my neighbor, I, apparently I passed out or something, and I woke up and my neighbor had, my neighbor's kid actually, 20-something punk rocker type kid, 
she gave me all these piercings in my ears and my head and my chest and my arms. I mean, it was all over. I'm like, what the hell is this? Take these damn things out of me. Oh, I was pissed. <laughs> what the hell was that all about? Yeah, weird. I had this, this sense of foreboding in the dream. Probably because I was horrified I had metal stuck in me. And then, it, it, I don't know about you guys, but it affects me the rest of the morning until it kind of wears off. But that sense, the emotional thing I felt in a dream carries over into my waking life. So uh, right now, I'm feeling a sense of foreboding. But I know it's just a hangover from the dream. I had a dream once where I was madly in love with this cheerleader when I was in high school that I'd never even met, but I saw her in school once in a while. She was in love with me too in the dream. And I had that love lovey feeling all morning. I realized, of course, it was just leftovers from the dream. No, it wasn't a wet dream, you sickos. Speaking of dreams, here's one. The lottery number, whatever, the number, was published last night. And, uh, I got a question for you. Sixty. So, uh, my question is, if you won $500 million, what would you do? Oh, I smell breakfast. Mm. I, I don't even think about that kind of stuff because it's, it's just so remotely possible. It's not worth my time. But maybe you have ideas. I don't know. I would do the typical shit. I'd have a lot of vehicles and houses and travel. I'd help a lot of people. And I would probably be murdered by somebody who wants my money. Oh well. Alright folks. It's my Kaylee 7 trying not to get killed on the way to school. I'll talk to you later. Ending mileage. 2779.